it really does not augur well in terms of the current status of key health behaviors that are potentially modifiable in U.S. adults. For example, it indicates that current prevalence rates for smoking, which is a major cause of morbidity and premature mortality, a uh, major independent risk factor for heart disease and cancers, that uh, about 20% of adults smoke and only about 50% have attempted to quit in the last year. Our obesity rates, another major risk factor for heart disease and other conditions, uh, about 60% of adults aged 18 and older are overweight or obese. I think the, on, the one behavior that uh, seemed to be promising is that uh, more Americans are actually meeting the recommended guidelines for sleep, and those guidelines are eight hours a week. And I think it's important to emphasize that even uh, within these reported prevalence of adverse behaviors, that there's within group differences. For example, when we look at obesity, other data also suggests that the obesity may be plateauing, the prevalence rates may be flattening. However, for certain groups, such as those from low-income communities and racial and ethnic minority groups, the prevalence rates are higher. And so I think taken together, this report suggests we need two approaches, individual approaches and population-based approaches.